Hello there, this is Jonathan with DSS Motion bringing you another review, this time looking at something a little bit different. It is a Series 1 Halo 5 Guardians figure from McFarlane Toys. These figures range from about £10 to £15 depending on exclusivity and where you find them. Uh, this one should be around £10 because it's the, a common figure. Um, and it's just an absolutely fantastic, highly detailed 5 to 6 inch figure. Now I say 5 to 6 inch because the line is labelled as a 6 inch toy line, however that is normally reserved to the elites and brutes from this line. The Spartans themselves are normally around the 5 inch line and Master Chief is no exception here. He comes with an assault rifle in the Halo 5 design and paint job, a sidearm pistol that can attach to his leg right here, uh, this rifle can be pegged to his back, comes with multiple paint applications and a lot of articulation that we'll go into now. Now yes, the pose does look ridiculous, but this does highlight very well how he is articulated. You of course have the ball joints in the shoulders, the arms in numerous places. Not only do you have a ball joint at the top, you also have one at the lower forearm section, so this section can swivel. You have ball jointed wrists as well, which is a rare thing for figures. Ball jointed uh, thighs, ball jointed torso, ball jointed head ball jointed knees, you get the picture, there is a lot of ball jointed joints. This allows for a great range of movement, um, you can have him sitting down, you can have him crouching, uh, doing a ground pound, anything that you want to pose Master Chief in here, it's absolutely fine, he's a really poseable figure, absolutely great figure and he's really recommended. Now this figure does use some parts from the Halo 4 release, however there are a lot of re-sculpted sections, for example the battle damage from this section here has been removed to represent Halo 5 better and his undersuit has now been re-sculpted to allow textured detail. I don't know if you can see it on the camera itself, uh, let me just try and get that in shot for you. Yeah, as you can see, there's a little speckled detail. Uh, that's to simulate the uh, undersuit that these Spartans were. Um, it is great that they finally included that. That was a major complaint for the Halo 4 version, that it didn't have that sculpted detail. So they have obviously listened to their fans and upgraded this figure. Um, the only drawback for this figure, I feel, is the lack of a trigger finger on this hand here. Um, because of that, he can't really grasp the weapon perfectly. He can hold it, but it is clear that his hand is not on the trigger one bit because the trigger guard stops it getting closer. So what I've done on mine is I've cut that finger off from the rest of the hand. Uh, basically, this finger now can bend around the trigger as if he was firing it, which allows him to hold it and grip it better, as you can see. If you didn't do that, you wouldn't be able to have this pose at all. It would be slightly raised up, and it would be clear that there's a trigger exposed. Uh, if you want to do that, I'd recommend you be careful, because you've got to use a sharp knife. So I would get parents, or just be very careful if you're old enough. Um, and it does add a lot more kind of detail to the figure. For some reason, McFarlane have been against doing trigger fingers since the Halo 3 figures. Um, I'm not really too sure why because it was a great addition, um, but it, it's it's okay, I guess, that it's missed off, um, but for people like me who do want that 100% detail accuracy, it's definitely worth modifying this figure. Paint detailing on this figure is absolutely great too. Not only do you get a nice green undercoat, you get some nice silver, black, and brown weathering that features over the armor. It is random, um, so you can't really kind of, your figure may look different in terms of where the wash sticks out, but you get nice silver on the panel lining. It's, it's just great little additions there that make this figure stand out and look like a battle-worn Spartan. As you can see, the pistol can be held in his hand perfectly fine. There is no trigger issue there. Um, it is just in the assault rifle, but it is still a great figure. So for the price point, you get a great figure all around. You have some fantastic detailing and paintwork, fantastic accessories, and some great articulation that you don't normally see in figures this size at the moment. A lot of figures this size are, in fact, cutting out articulation, so it's good that we still get a Master Chief that is still worthy of the name. It is a great figure, I'm definitely glad to include in Series 1, as obviously you want to start a collection with the main hero. You even get the cracked visor detail that's on the helmet as well. It's just a great little detailed figure, highly recommended, and I recommend that you go out there and get the rest of Series 1 when you can as well, as these guys look great in a team on your shelf, or in just playing with in general. They are great figures to mess around with, highly recommended. So we will be reviewing more of them in the future if you do like this video. Uh, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.
Bye.